Top of the morning, top of the morning. Positive vibes, self-accountability, and all that amazing stuff. So today I wanted to talk briefly on the reason why I personally have um, given up on dating um, and the reason why I officially uh, given up on relationships. Um, honestly, with a lot of experience, 26 years technically of experience dating, trying uh, to uh, overly show my value to a, a, a Martin minded uh, woman is, 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 is not really valuable to the man because when you start to do that and you start to feel like you have to raise the bar, you have to feel like you have to sacrifice, you have to start doing all these things that literally will suffocate you. Um, I'm not saying that men are perfect. We are not. We have a lot of things that we also um, have to work on as well. Um, but I believe that our criticism is a thousand times greater than the criticism or judgment of women. Um, and I think that because of that, it's a bias in, in relationships. And the relationships are unbalanced. And a man always has to try to be perfect. You know, he has very little room for error. Um, and he has uh, been told through modern standards that if you have an opinion, you are misogynistic. If you have uh, a view or you want to interject in a conversation that you are a bully, that you don't know or understand uh, the framework of a woman. And that has been used as a crutch. That has been used as a way to really conform men into being um, very passive uh, because you don't want to offend anyone. You don't want to say the wrong thing. And I don't think it's a wrong thing. I think that everybody has their own uh, viewpoint. You know, I don't have to agree with you um, on anything. And you don't have to agree with me on anything. You are entitled to your belief system. I think that's the only difference with men and women. A man, even if you are a, an extreme feminist, I don't care. That doesn't affect me. Your views don't affect me. And But the thing that I have issues with a lot of feminists, y'all talk reckless. Y'all talk harmfully reckless in reference to men. But if a man express him, himself, I'll use Cam Newton, in an articulate manner, um, and just saying what he prefers or what he has experienced growing up in his household to the character of what he defines as a woman, you get criticized. So I don't understand uh, this, the, the, this the narrative. Um, if you don't like what you, if you don't like something, then walk away from it, leave it alone. But it's not because I don't like or want to love it's just not it's not worth it it's just not worth it you put so much into a relationship to to end up with nothing you know you end up losing some of yourself you know you end up losing your resources you end up investing in something that literally had no future you end up you know just taking a lot of losses and at this age as i approach 44 in a few weeks um, I come to understand my, in myself that I just don't need it. I, I, I don't need it. I don't see any value in being in a relationship. I don't see any value in being in a, another relationship. I just don't see it, you know. I really don't. I can have, you know, a great life by myself, you know. I can enjoy 
doing things, you know, um, you know, being amongst uh, decent, respectable people, but to invest in something that has a really high chance of failing, is it worth it? I just want to hear you guys' thoughts on that. But I have officially opted out in relationship dating. Friends, cool, relationships, no. I don't need any titles. I don't want any titles. I'm not looking for any titles. 26 years in the game, consistently, you know, dating and the outcomes are always the same, you know. And again, not taking out my own mishaps or wrongdoings in some of those situations. I can take accountability for my mishaps or my uh, uh, things that I've did in a relationship that may have affected the relationship. I can take full authority over that. But I've learned from those situations and I try to do things in a different setting and move in a more strategic you know, mindset, but still get the same outcome. So officially, you guys, I'm out the dating market. I'm going to enjoy my life for the remaining of my life. And not saying that if something grand or amazing, it's gonna to have to be like amazingly unrealistic for me to even entertain a serious relationship at this time. Gentlemen, take care of yourself, love yourself. Ladies also, take care of yourself, love yourself, be as healthy, be as peace in peace as you possibly can and enjoy you know society is full of unaccountability and it has uh, put a lot of people in the matrix and when you start to take accountability for your actions and how you do things it changed the way you see everything and if you really want something better you won't tolerate anything you know you won't accept anything. The reason why you accept the first thing that came to you is because you have low self-esteem. You know, you didn't want to work on yourself. Uh, you didn't want to invest more into yourself. You can't buy love. You can't buy love. You can't lead with money. Men, leading with money will still give you the same outcome, even worse even worse you know if you leave with money you're gonna have to pay for that company all the days of your life so don't leave with money leave with your principles leave with your character leave with your morals leave with your standards leave with your integrity you know and that's your true value the money gives lifestyle so we have to understand the truth and what the money that uh, really represents it, it, it represents lifestyle but it doesn't represent character principles or morals. So again, in my past situations, I always tried to lead with the dollar because in society, we men don't feel value unless they have money. You know, so you think that you have to get money to be, but it's not that's not the real that's not the way it is. Okay? Reorganize yourself emotionally. Give that person a representative of you. Don't lead with your finances first. Let that person get to a place with you that they can see who you are. You know, don't give people so much of you out the gate. You're set up to be miserable. you are set yourself up to be unhappy. you have marry the wrong person. You will always feel empty. You will always feel a, a sense of aloneness. And you will always have a little in the air of friction in your relationship. So again, you guys, love yourself first. Be for yourself. Be true to yourself. And, and if you feel like you have met something worthwhile, let them see you. I just wanted to really emphasize that. Let that person meet you. Not what you have, not what you don't have. Let that person meet you and see if they can be um, attracted to just you in your nature, in your natural form. Not what you have or what you don't have, okay? Positive vibes, family. Much love, much respect.